Hello there. How's it going? So recently, we've been focusing on a lot of logic gates. And uh, today, I wanted to do something with those logic gates just to show y'all, um, you know, what you can do with a logic gate. And uh, it's actually pretty simple. So we're going to be using binary logic gates today. We're going to use all 16 of them to create a lock kind of kind of thing, you know? So let's head out in a, a direction I don't really care about, because there's a bunch of directions here, and I'm going to go ahead and give you all of the different gates that we can do. Alright, this place seems adequate. It seems a bit out of the way, but also not too far away. Uh, let's begin with the, the different logic gates. So I will demonstrate these in vertical fashion, because vertical is easier. Our first gate is the OR gate. So, here's the OR gate. Either this or that can be on for it to output a signal. So next, after the OR gate, we have the NOR gate, and the NOR gate is just an inversion of the OR gate. So we take this, so it will be off, that will cause it to be off. So basically, it will only ever be on if both are off. Here are the AND and NAND gates. This one is NAND, here is AND. Uh, so AND both have to be on for the output to be on. There you go. And in this one, it's the opposite. Both have to be off for the output to be off. Boom. Look at that. Well, actually, both have to be on for the output to be off. <laughs> now, XOR and XNOR are the ones that get tricky, and a lot of people don't know how these work, so I'm going to go ahead and explain them to the best of my ability while I build one. Um, basically, when one signal is on, it will be on. But when there are two signals on that are the same, it will be off. Uh, the same goes for the inversion of it, and, uh, yeah. I believe this has to be redstone dust, and then we put two repeaters on this edge. I build a lot of these. Don't ask why, okay? There's a ton of these that I build. Um, then we go up like this, I think, and... Yeah, that's, that's, that's looking right. Boom, there we go. So this is XOR, and we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate him. Uh, basically, when we turn that one on, the output should be on. When we turn this one on, the output should also be on. When we turn both off, I, I believe the output... Is this is this supposed to... Uh, this shouldn't be anything. Actually, no, 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 no. That's gotta be a repeater. That's it, that's... Okay, so... But that didn't change anything, so there we go. Two of them on. Two of them off. Boom. The opposite is XNOR, which is just an inversion of, uh, you know, you know, wait a second, is that, yeah, it's an inversion of XOR, basically, okay? So we just put a torch at the end there, and that torch will be whether it's on or off. In this case, when one is on and the other isn't, when they're not the same, it'll have a, you know, it'll, it'll be off. But when they're both the same, it should be on, like this. Boom, there we go. So these are the first six possible logic combinations and their outputs. Which I've represented, uh, you know, true or on being pink, and uh, the other white is just being off. Okay, okay. So there's a, there's a possible of there's a total number of these that is 16. So there's 10 more I can make, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to make all of them real quick just to show you all of them. Uh, most of these are actually gonna be converse implications and implications and things like that, and uh, they're not very oftenly used. However, I recently discovered that these things exist, so. Um, you know, maybe I should just use these as well. Here is not A and not B. These are just an inversion of A and B signals. Very, very nice. These, uh, these are also commonly used. I forgot to mention them. You can also do A or B, which would be the opposites, which, which, which would just be the, you know, A input from the truth table. And, you know, uh, or you could do the opposite, which of uh, just a B. Boom. There we go. And basically, these, these, you just hook up to A and B inputs, okay? Very simple. Here are our implications and in, uh, converse things, you know. These things are kind of strange, but you can use these for a total of four different logic gates. You can do, you know, the, the converse of, or, well, whatever this is. This is converse not implication, material not implication, I think. And then you can invert those to uh, material implication and converse implication, I think. I think that's how it is. 4 plus 8 is 12, so we have 12 right now. We're missing 4 logic gates. Now, there are two pretty easy ones, which are always true. <laughs> so 
So basically, what you do is you put a redstone dust here, and uh, you put a lever here, and then you just put a torch not connected to that dust just over here, okay? So this way, uh, this will never affect this, but it still is, um, yeah, you just say this is A or B, you know? It's, it's never, it's just always gonna be true, okay? Um, then over here we have always false. Do the same thing. So there we go. Two more gates done. We are missing more gates. We're missing, uh, I believe we're missing like two more. <laughs> And these, are, these ones are simple, I think. I'm thinking about them. Okay, we have all 16 logic gates. Never mind, I just miscounted. Um, so now it's time to use all of them. T time to make something awful with this. And I think we're gonna start off by just deciding how many, how many, uh, you know, how many of these do we want on our gate? So, like, you know, how many of these do we have to activate to get the gate to work? Or, like, the... Um, I'm gonna build this out of wood because it's gonna look kind of interesting. Okay, so first, we're gonna decide on what each- okay, we'll have 16 inputs, okay? So I've got a total of 9 of these gates now, and uh, it's time to make something with them. So first things first, we're gonna do, I think, an AND gate probably over here. Well, actually, let's just do an AND gate. So both of these guys have to be off in order for us to be on. This is gonna be pretty cursed. Uh, next, we'll have a, um, you know, we'll have, just to keep things simple, uh, let's, let's do a gate that, um, hmm, just an inversion, maybe? No, that's, that's, let's just keep it with binary gates. XOR. So I got, uh, these two hooked to an XOR gate. So one of these has to be on in order for the, in order for the output to be on. Uh, now this, this makes the, the lock kind of variable, because, uh, you could do either this one or that one. It doesn't really care. <laughs> um... Trying to save all the big ticket items for later, so let's use the uh, the door gate here. And then for these last ones, okay, we'll do an inversion on this guy. I'm doing a lot of inverse gates, which is kind of bad because that means that uh, you know, not a lot has, ha has to happen. We'll do for these two. I think we could do. Um, oh yeah, this guy's this guy's not a or whatever. Okay, we'll just slap another and gate there. So now we, we have to start making more gates. So, let's start adding, uh, probably, let's, let's do something weird. Let's add a, uh, a converse implication gate thingy. <laughs> uh, yes, this, this is looking cursed already. Um, next we'll have to, uh, let's do an and gate, so that way, uh, we can add in that not a gate over there, that inversion gate. Uh, just to, just to make things a little bit complicated, we'll just hook it up like, uh, like, 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 like that. Boom. Just do an AND gate here. So this AND that must be true. You know I'm not gonna be able to solve this, right? <laughs> this gate is just too complicated. Uh, we've already- or, well actually this- this- this puzzle is too complicated. There's just so many logic gates working against me. Anytime there's a million things working, uh, not in my favor, then, you know, that's kinda bad. Kinda ends up not being good. Okay, we need to... What if we just do a X or let's do another version of the X or gate that I haven't shown you all. So the other version I like to use or that I have used is a simple version that I'm pretty sure most people can understand. But we're going to use comparators and I know comparators are a little confusing for people, but hey, this is simple, okay? So you, t you do this, you'll need uh, two repeaters going in, boom and boom, and then we just do that. So, this is an X or gate, so set those to subtract mode, maybe. I don't know. I, I think they work. Yeah, that's, that's how they're supposed to be, subtract mode. Output is this. Boom. I have a few more in, uh, implication gates I need to add. So, let's go ahead and add those. <laughs> we have this AND gate here. And uh, we can add the implication gate off of... Um, well, an inverse of an op uh, implication gate off this guy. I really like these things because I haven't used them for anything, and I feel like this is the way to go for actually using them for something. Just to make some confusing lock or something. <laughs> just kind of ridiculous. But okay. Go like, I think like that. I think like that. Uh, then do this. Do, 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 do. Alright, and I think we're finished. I think it's time for us to test it out. 
We only didn't use one gate. There's a single gate I'm missing in this whole thing. <laughs> There's just one gate. We needed one more of these implication gates, and that was it. But, hey, it's fine. Maybe we, we could add, like, an extra lock or something. Maybe we can use some extra signals, or maybe we can, you know, you know maybe we can double these. I don't know. You know what? It doesn't matter now. Let's just build a, a, a little bit of a door. All right, so I think we should get a test subject to do this. But, to be honest, um, I don't have any people to test this on. So let's go ahead and do it myself. All right. So, first things first. I need to figure out what we need to do. I think this one needs to be off. This one needs to be off. Then one of these needs to be on. I think we'll go with that one. This one. This one. Uh, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> that's that's wrong. Wait. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, then we need this one. And this one. That gives us an A. I oh, never mind. Doesn't give us anything. Turn that one off. And um, <laughs> uh, okay, this one, this one. That that doesn't help any. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't really help. Oh, I see the problem. Okay, this this is a very hard hard lock to get through. I mean, of course, your friends could just dig through the walls. But hey, um, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Both of them are... There we go. We got that one on. We need to get this guy off. Because this guy causes issues. So if we switch him off... Uh, or if we switch any of these switches, it uh, needs to be like that. Never mind. Oh, wait a second. Maybe, maybe... Okay, both of those have to be off. That causes this one to be on. Which is now... We're on the final stretch here. We need this guy. He, he His torsion needs to be on. And then we need to turn off that last gate. So, just flip that. Boom. And then we just need to finish the last gate off. And boom, there we go. Actually, it doesn't matter to the rest of the gate. The only thing that matters... Is this guy. <laughs> the single switch. I'm pretty sure you can flip that one switch and the whole gate... The whole, whole system just fails. Okay, ready? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this is the best, the best lock ever. Nobody could get through it. And the, the reason why this is happening is because all these are different variable gates. Kind of, and that's, that's the problem. <laughs> so we've linked a bunch of gates together, causing this to happen. Instead of just doing one single AND gate at the end, where everything matters, we have a bunch of different gates that do different things at the end. Which is the problem. So using more gates is not as good. But technically, if I did a 32 switch lock, there would be no way anybody's getting through that. <laughs> so if you all have enjoyed this little overview of uh, binary gates, uh, you know, feel free to let me know down below. Um, you can also do that by hitting the subscribe button, the like button, and maybe that bell icon. But uh, I don't ask people to do that often. Well, the, the bell icon. I ask people to subscribe every day. So uh, yeah, maybe you should do that.